Dylan Field, CEO and co-founder of Figma here in our New York office. And today I'm really excited to share with you Gemini 3 Pro in Figma Make. This is a model we've explored across a variety of checkpoints. And as we've gone deep on it, I can tell you it really excels at one-shot generations as well as creative and aesthetic breadth. It's able to kind of map things cross domain in a way that is almost akin to synesthesia. So let me show you what I mean, and let's dive into some examples. For our first example, meet Gemini 3. In the prompt, I've told it to draw an anthropomorphic self-portrait of itself using stylized div elements as well as SVG. Here we have a recreation of Doom. I am getting hit. Uh, ah. <laughs> okay, now that I've killed my enemies, hopefully, uh, recreating, <laughs> recreating Doom is not a new thing for these models. Uh, they've been doing it for quite some time. But what's cool here, I think, is the way that we've been able to apply this cross-stitch aesthetic to a procedurally rendered environment. So you can see the walls are also in cross-stitch. And when I've killed these enemies, I've actually gotten little spools of thread that they've dropped as a result. And Gemini 3 basically one-shot this. So extremely neat how it's able to apply a style or aesthetic into a very known game and make it its own. And of course at Figma, we are always excited about creating tools. So one tool I prompted was this sort of nonsense typography generator in Figma Make. And Gemini 3 was able to really extract out the properties that you should manipulate in order to create dynamic nonsense typography. So for example, I have this style slider. I can go from calligraphy all the way to runic. I can increase or decrease chaos. I'll go increased. I can even increase the complexity to make it so it has more sort of random circles and whatnot. Apply a different brush type or a different theme. Regenerate it and even download the image. And it essentially got to all this on its own. It came up with a number of different sliders and then I told it, give me some more sliders. And just the way it was able to understand my intent and its steerability became very clear with this tool it created. Here we've used a image generation model to create these different uh, sort of posters for a New Year's Eve party. And you can see we've looked at a number of different aesthetics here. Perhaps I'll take this one. And if I copy and paste this into Figma Make, you can see this has already been pre-baked. I can actually put in this image and then give it a simple prompt, like turn this into an interactive 2026 New Year's Eve poster with RSVP. I can fill out the form, name, email, message, submit my RSVP, and I've actually got a very faithfully recreated, it's a little different, but mostly faithfully recreated version of my original design. Here I have a decollage aesthetic where I have a collage that I can scratch off if I drag to tear. And as I do that, I'm able to actually get my New Year's Eve invitation. I can kind of discover it, which is honestly super fun. And then I can claim my ticket and I can RSVP using this form. This next example I got really inspired by. Gemini 3 is really good at using type as a building block of the actual design. This is something that's referred to as concrete poetry, where you're able to creatively use type in order to express an idea. And you can see that various parts of the design are interactive. And that made me think of a song by Vampire Weekend, Oxford Comma. What if we could actually use this idea of concrete poetry to start to visualize lyrics and how artistic and creative could this model with make get? The first thing I tried was uh, this. It's honestly a bit nauseating to look at, so I won't wait on it too long. But I started to push further, and the next thing I explored is this Gilded Age concept. And if you think about it, the lyrics of the song can be interpreted that way. And you can hover over and see some interactivity here too. But what if we took a more constructivist approach? Here we have something that's a totally different way of interpreting this design. And this kind of led to me looking at, okay, what about a punk aesthetic? And this is maybe a little bit wild, uh, not sure I would ship this, but all of it together, as I looked through this option space of what could be created, made me get excited about this idea, which is what if you had a standardized form and with that, you're trying to break out of it, kind of bringing the punk into bureaucracy. And you can see how the model interprets those instructions. It's got 
this who gives a fuck about an Oxford comma right in the middle of it. And I really actually like this direction quite a lot. And to me, this is one where I would explore it a lot more and uh, move it into Figma design and figure out how I can go even deeper here. Of course, it's not just one-shot generations and artistic explorations that we can do with Make and Gemini 3. We can also do product design. So not to get too meta, but here is a design of FigJam in Figma design. And you can see we've explored this concept of changing the background theme. I can copy this and now going into Make, you can see that actually I have the same input for my Figma design file with a pretty simple prompt. And the result is that I'm able to just change the background and it even animates it for me by making it so that it's super easy to prototype. Now we can go deep and really refine the dynamics and mechanics of this and see if it's something that we might want to ship at Figma one day. Last but not least, to take us home, I want to show you this last prompt, which is around a murder mystery with a conspiracy board aesthetic. Gemini 3 and Make were able to build out an entire narrative story. So if I go and open this file, you can see I've got uh, the ability to have this board where I am moving these different uh, Polaroids around. And through that, I can start to uncover a story. I've got the victim found dead in his own study, uh, but next to him, a love letter suggesting an affair and spilled ink stained on the victim's fingers. And we also have the rival who is desperate for the lost map. And of course, we also have his wife. She claims she was at the opera at the time or the maid who knows too much. So you can accuse the maid, the wife, the rival. I'll go for the rival. Seems like the lost map might be a pretty good motive. And if I go there, case closed. In summary, Gemini 3 can really help you explore and then find different spots in the option space to go deep on. I hope that you will have just as much fun with it as we've had. I really look forward to hearing your feedback and seeing what you make. Thank you.